There's the video that uh, the gaming world was waiting for. My top five first person shooters. Now these are just the ones that I had the most fun with. Again, it's not a re necessarily a review of the games. Just the ones that I picked out as my top five go to that I can remember having the most fun. I spent the most time in these particular FPSs the most out of all the ones I've played. Does that mean they're the best? No, it doesn't mean they're the best. They're just my top five. I want to hear your top five down below. Let's, let's kick it off. Here we go. Ah, uh, Destiny 1. What a time that was in 2014. <laughs> I did the beta test in July. I like the game. I was kind of new to getting back into video games because I had taken a long time off. Nothing on PC though. I wasn't a PC gamer. I never had money to put a rig together. I'm not going to add Destiny 2 in here, even though I spent a lot of time in it. We'll just say that I've soured on that game since about 2019. So I haven't really picked it up since. Off and on, but Destiny 1 for sure. I played it, you know, from beginning to end. Met a lot of people, had a lot of fun. Spent a lot of hours after work playing that game. And did all the raids multiple times. It deserves to be on this list here for me. Like, I would have to say Destiny 1, The Taken King would probably be my favorite. And then what I spent the most time in. Hopefully it gets ported someday to PC. Halo 1 and 2. These are the ones I've I've played from beginning to end, both of these. And I liked them a lot. I, I didn't even own the games. I was helping a buddy of mine. He had an Xbox. And I went over there and he said, dude, you got to try this game. It's multiplayer. We can play together. You know, I'd come over and help him do some some work. He was putting a wet bar in the basement. You know, this is like college age. It was like 2000, what was it, 2004, 2005. Somewhere around there. I don't exactly remember when I when I went over, but it was around that time. But we had a ton of fun playing that game, and uh, I ended up borrowing it because my brother had an Xbox. We did a lot of couch gaming with with uh, Halo 2 spe uh, specifically. The couch co-op was where it was at, dude, in, the, in, the, in that time. I haven't played Reach or 3. I never got into 3. I never got into Reach or 4 or 5. Or fucking, I played the newest one that just came out on PC. It really wasn't that good. And I didn't, I didn't do the Master Chief Collection or anything. So I, I will try the other ones. I heard Reach was really good. So. Turok 1 and 2. This my, I don't know if you guys played this this one, but my, when, we, when we had an N64, my brother got, he ended up getting Turok 1, and then we played it just all the time. As, any chance we could get, you know what I mean? Pass the controller off and just playing levels and, and running through and killing dinosaurs, and it was a ton of fun. And, and then Turok 2 came out, and we had to get that, so he and I pulled our money together and got Turok 2. And that was just as it was even better than the first one. So one and two, though, we played the crap out of those games. It was a ton of fun. I don't think there was co-op. If I remember, I don't think there there was any co-op in those. It was a single player first person, but I could be wrong on that. But I just remember having a lot of fun with with uh, Turok one and two. I think they they've come out on PlayStation as well, like the remastered. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'll have to look that up again, but I'm pretty sure I saw it. So if it is, it's well worth a look if it's on sale. Here's a blast from the past. I was working at a spring factory. We were making springs. And uh, I really wanted a Dreamcast because it had come out in, what, 98? I think in Japan, and it was coming over here in 99. Oh, somewhere around that time. But uh, that was uh, the system that came out during that time, Dreamcast. Dreamcast was definitely something I had my eye on. And I, I was a kind of a Sega fanboy at the time. So I was like, dude, we got to check it out. You know, just played the usual 2K sports game, stuff like that. And then somebody turned me on to Unreal Tournament. Picked it up and played it. And I loved it. I didn't put it down. I, I beat the game and then I kept playing and then I had friends come over and we'd play together. I had four like Dreamcast controllers and we'd all play together. It was chaos, man, but it was it was a lot of uh, our arena arcade fun. I, I wouldn't say pick up a Dreamcast and get it. it. I think they have it for the PS2. You know, it was probably better on the PS2. And now for my favorite FPS of all time, Time Splitters, the whole series, one, two and three. Two and three specifically. One was just okay. Time Splitters two and three is the ultimate like couch gaming, old school couch gaming. The most fun I've ever had in a first person shooter arena style. I would suggest it to anybody. There's a remake they've been trying to do and port over to the PC for, I don't know, going on a decade now, if not more, called Time Splitters Rewind. And I don't think it's ever coming out. I don't think it's ever gonna see the light of day. So we'll see. That's my favorite FPS of all time. Now, is it the best? I, I can't say it's the best, but it was the most fun that I had for sure. A couple of uh, some honorable mentions here are like the Doom, the Doom series, you know, from the PC. 
I played it on PC first. You get a, you had a boot disc. I didn't know how to make them. My buddy, my buddy's the one that came over and helped me do that. Um, Wolfenstein 3D. I don't know. There's so many. There's just so many. I guess some other ones too would be Half Life. I my I got a chance to play that. My buddy had a had a really good rig at the time, and I was playing uh, Half Life. I didn't get to finish it though, but I, I remember liking it a lot. Half Life, Call of Duty 4. When it got into the modern era, you know what I mean. For the Xbox 360, my brother bought that, played that. I like I like that a lot. The multiplayer aspect of that. Battlefield 1943, that was a good one. I hear they got Valorant coming out for PS5 now. <laughs> I never I never bothered to play that, but maybe I'll give that a shot too. Let me know your uh, your favorite FPS or at least the one that you had the most fun in down below, and um, I'll catch you on the next I'll catch you on the next video. Until we meet again.